Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 8.2 factorial notation. 8.2 represents chapter 8, section 2 of the person A level maths, pure maths, year 1, textbook. Let's have a look at the facts of this section. Firstly, the exclamation mark represents factorial. 1 can be written as 1 factorial. 2 times 1 can be written as 2 factorial. 3 times 2 times 1 can be written as 3 factorial. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 can be written as 4 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 can be written as 5 factorial. Let's generalise this. Dot, dot, dot. n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times dot, 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 times 2 times 1 can be written as n factorial. Okay, so n factorial is defined as follows. That's very important. Now, the different ways of choosing, say, R, for example, R items from a group of n items is defined as n c r so that means n choose r n c r is equal to you can rewrite it as brackets n at the top and r at the bottom the formula to calculate this is n factorial divide by n minus r in bracket factorial r factorial now a key fact is 0 factorial is equal to 1. Let's have a look at example 1. Now before I cover example 1, the proof of 0 factorial equal 1 can be found on my YouTube channel. So if you're eager and you want to watch the video, you can go ahead and watch the video of the proof of 0 factorial equal 1. So example 1, work out part 1, 4 factorial, part 2, 4 choose 2, part 3, 3, 1 in bracket, which is the same as 3 choose 1. So let's have a look at part 1. 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 by definition. And this here, ladies and gents, is just 24. You can calculate this directly from your calculator. So here is my calculator. Right, so I can type in 4 and then I press shift x to the power minus 1. That will give me the factorial symbol. And once I press equal, I get 24. Okay, moving on to part 2. Now I need to calculate 4 choose 2. So 4 choose 2, by definition, is given by 4 factorial over 4 minus 2 in brackets factorial to factorial. Okay, so this over here, ladies and gents, is just going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 minus 2, which is 2, 2 factorial multiplied by the other 2 factorial. Okay, so the numerator is 24. We know that 2 factorial is 2 times 1. We're going to multiply this by the other 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. Okay, so we've got 24 over 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 is just 4. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. We can calculate this directly using our calculator. So what we have to do is type in 4. To get the C, we have to press shift and then divide. Okay? That will give you the C. And then after the C, we can type in 2. So we've got the 4C2. We press equal and we get exactly 6. Right, part 3. We want to calculate 3, 1 in brackets. This is the same as writing... 3 choose 1. Now 3 choose 1, by definition, is 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 in bracket factorial, 1 factorial. So the numerator, by definition, is 3 times 2 times 1. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we have 2 factorial multiplied by 1 factorial. Okay, so the numerator becomes 6. In the denominator, 2 factorial is 2 times 1. 
multiplied by one factorial is just one. Okay, so we have six over two. This is just three. Again, you can calculate this directly from your calculator. You type in three, then you press shift, divide, that will give you the C, and then you type in one. Press equal, and you get three. Okay, ladies and gents, that there is the end of example one. Example number two, show that n choose two is equal to this fraction, show that n choose three is equal to this fraction. So now we're going to be using a bit of algebra. Let's start off with this one. We've got the left hand side, which is equal to n choose two. By definition, this is equal to n factorial over n minus two in bracket factorial to factorial. We can rewrite the numerator and denominator as follows. Firstly, the numerator can be rewritten as n times n minus one times n minus two times n minus three times dot 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 times two times one. Okay, let's have a look at the denominator. n minus two in bracket factorial can be rewritten as n minus two times n minus three times dot 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 times two times one. We're going to multiply this by two factorial, which can be rewritten as two times one. So over here, ladies and gents, we see a cancellation. The n minus two onwards cancels with the n minus two onwards up until here in the denominator. As you can see, we can cancel these common terms. Right, so once we do this, we end up with the following result. In the numerator, we have n, n minus one, these two are multiplied together. And in the denominator, we have two times one, which is just two. And this is precisely the right hand side. End of proof. Okay, let's move on to the next one. n choose three, that's my left hand side. Okay, by definition, n choose 3 is the same as n factorial over n minus 3 in bracket factorial multiplied by 3 factorial. We're going to rewrite the numerator and denominator. The numerator can be rewritten as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times dot 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 times 2 times 1. Okay? Denominator, n minus three in bracket factorial can be rewritten as n minus three multiplied by dot 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 multiplied by two times one. We're going to multiply this by three factorial. So multiply this thing by three factorial, which is three times two times one. Notice that there's a cancellation here. The n minus three onwards cancels with the n minus three onwards over here up until one. Okay, so the numerator, we have n multiplied by n minus one, multiplied by n minus two, all over. In the denominator, we have three times two times one, which is six. And that, there, ladies and gents, is precisely the right-hand side. End of proof. Okay, so that completes example two and this teaching video 8.2 factorial notation. If you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time i post teaching videos